Our future is written on the sky. A perilous future. When the sun begins to heat up, swelling to an enormous size. When titanic collisions, explosive star death, and the raw power of the black hole threaten the galaxy itself. Yet there is hope for life as our fate stretches out to a dark horizon and beyond. Out in the vast reaches of space, a galaxy, a great spiral wheel of stars, makes its way through the darkness. 200 billion suns, countless planets, a dazzling variety of worlds. Surely, this is one of the great locations in the cosmos. But how long can it last? And how will it change? Fortunately, someone is keeping a close eye on things from a quiet vantage point. A rocky plot called Earth. Here, astronomers are launching a revolution in cosmology. Using advanced telescopes and computer simulations, they are reconstructing the history of the galaxy and going one step further, predicting events yet to come. Today, they are charting out the future in astonishing detail. The destiny of the sun, the fate of our galaxy, the Milky Way. What we are now learning is that this stellar neighborhood, so familiar to us, will one day become quite unfamiliar. A chain of cataclysmic events promises to remake the night sky. In the coming eons, suns like our own will begin to convulse. At the same time, our entire galaxy will take an ominous path. A collision course with another, far larger star system that will radically transform it. How will our little world survive? What will become of the neighborhood? Who can read its future on the night sky? Tonight, a group of young astronomers from the Bronx is on a rendezvous with the stars. Looking at Saturn. Right. But if you look, they've come to a gathering of amateur astronomers to track the landmarks of the night sky. I see Saturn. The planets, Jupiter, Saturn. That is Jupiter. What you were looking at a minute ago. The constellations: Sagittarius, Orion. The brightest star in the sky. That's called Sirius. The night is full of questions about where we've been, where we're going. Astronomy is more of an art, and it's kind of like something that you have in your soul. Different dimensions, different species, different planets. I think we are all explorers here. Have you been able to see like the Milky Way? How about the Crab Nebula? We've long seen the night sky as a fixed image, eternal, unchanging. What we're now learning is that the glimmers of light in our telescopes are bodies in constant motion, whirling and spinning, evolving on time scales we are only beginning to comprehend. It's hard for people today to imagine how dramatically our picture can change, but our notions of what the scales that are relevant to understanding the future of everything we see is exploding. And, 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 and yes, that, that our sense of time really is changing. And, and what we mean by the long-term future of the universe has changed tremendously in the last 100 years, the last 50 years, the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. 
our universe and time itself began some 15 billion years ago in one great shattering moment. The Big Bang. This enormous burst of light and heat was followed by darkness. Then, something remarkable happened. Half a billion years after the Big Bang, the birth of the first star. As this computer simulation shows, gravity drew giant clouds of hydrogen gas together. Heating up, glowing, they swirled inward. Deep within, a tiny cocoon began to form. At its very core, an infant star. From birth, this sun burned in a nuclear fire, forging oxygen, carbon, iron. These heavy elements were pulled by gravity into its center until the star could hold no more. There was only one possible outcome. It collapsed and detonated. A supernova. But even as one star died, countless new ones were born. The universe entered its first great era, the era of the stars. Stars are the cornerstone of our universe today. Stars are the objects that are generating most of the power that's being generated in our universe today. Within our own galaxy, we have about 100 billion stars. 100 billion stars. This is extraordinary. You don't encounter that number much in everyday life. Early on, gravity drew stars together into clusters, and galaxies began to take shape. Some in the most unlikely places. How does a random cluster of stars turn into a galaxy? How did our galaxy come to be, in all its rich and mouth-watering variety? Nature began by assembling the finest raw materials. Pure hydrogen gas generated by the Big Bang. Heavy elements tossed off by supernovae. They were all churned together by gravity. In the real world, as computer simulations now show, gravity drew larger regions of matter together, and countless clumps of gas and stars began to emerge. In the great celestial kitchen, they were broken off into separate clusters, each one the core of a galaxy. Out in the darkness of space, these clusters pulled together, swirling around each other. They collided, merged, and gradually formed a single large galaxy. Our galaxy is actually made up of many, many sub-galaxies that have collided over, the, over time. Structure continued to evolve on, on, on larger and larger scales, so that the way we now understand the evolution of our galaxy is that small sub-clumps collapsed first, and many different ones did, and interacted, orbited each other, collided, merged, and eventually formed what we see today. And in fact, that process is continuing. The sheer momentum of these collisions set the newborn galaxy in 